13 dog breeds that are often banned. Breed discrimination laws are currently being passed in some nations and U.S. states, prohibiting owners from adopting particular dog breeds. These laws' application can be complicated because they typically differ from county to county or city to city. While one county or township may prohibit four breeds, the one after it might only do so for one. The most frequently prohibited dog breeds in the U.S. are listed below. Banned breeds aren't unadoptable, but it's best to check your local laws before getting a dog with a bad reputation for aggression or as a guard dog to avoid having to give them up soon after. The breed may be prohibited by landlords, homeowners associations, and home insurance companies even if the state does not forbid it. 1. Doberman Pinscher This breed is lovely and sleek, as seen in the image above. Even when they reach a large size, they maintain their incredible grace. This courageous, devoted dog is very devoted to his family. He's a fantastic watchdog. These playful and vivacious dogs require regular exercise to avoid becoming aggressive or destructive. Although the breed is outlawed in some places, these puppies can be as sociable as any other breed if properly socialized and trained. 2. German Shepherd German Shepherds are intelligent work dogs that are employed as police dogs, guide dogs, and farmhand dogs. They don't get distracted easily and are reserved around strangers. These dogs are playful and active, but they are also calm and well-behaved. Given how much German Shepherds shed, it might be best if your home is carpet-free. However, given that they rank highly on charts of statistics on aggression, some places have outlawed the adoption of German Shepherd dogs. 3. Dogo Canario The Dogo Canario, a member of the Mastiff family, is not well known for being friendly to children, cats, dogs, or strangers. He therefore qualifies for the list of prohibited dog breeds. These dogs require regular exercise because they are active and alert. Puppies of this breed, also known as the Perro de Presa Canario, are said to be friendly if raised with children and other animals. To be anything other than a guard dog, they would need to be properly socialized and trained. 4. Chow Chow These majestic dogs always make me think of a lion. They struggle in hot weather because their bodies are covered in fluffy hair. The Chow Chow requires little exercise because it doesn't have a lot of energy. These dogs are more difficult to train because they are independent and self-willed. This breed of dog is known for being fairly aggressive and not always getting along with other people and animals. 5. Mastiff Breeds There are numerous Mastiff breeds, including the Brazilian, Neapolitan, Tibetan, Argentino, Japanese, Tosu Inu, and Bull varieties. The owners of these dogs refer to them as gentle giants. Mastiffs are affectionate and do well in households with children. They do make good guard and watch dogs, but only when properly trained. Mastiffs are all independent and self-reliant. They require a committed trainer who is prepared to put in the effort to serve as pack leader. 6. Cane Corso This breed of dog sheds very little and has short hair, making them simple to maintain. Moreover, they are a robust and healthy group. Cane Corsos are simple to train because they are intelligent and eager to please. Although the majority of these canines are peaceful and quiet, they remain one of the most frequently prohibited dog breeds. This dog, another of the Mastiff breed, typically dislikes both cats and other dogs. They thrive in a household with older, more collected kids. 7. Dog de Bordeaux most people would not describe the Dog de Bordeaux as beautiful because it is a drooling giant. When it comes to their immediate family, they are affectionate, but they don't always get along with visiting kids. These devoted dogs would need to be the only pet in your household, but they make excellent watchdogs. They are somewhat slothful and don't require much exercise. 8. Bullying Breeds Whether it's the American Pit Bull Terrier, American Bully, or Staffordshire Bull Terrier, these breeds frequently appear on lists of the most frequently outlawed canine species. Unexpectedly, these dogs have a solid reputation for getting along well with kids. 
In fact, because they are a family's constant companion and child protector, dogs of the bull breed are frequently referred to as nanny dogs. However, you cannot train these dogs to be hostile guard dogs while also expecting them to be sociable with children and other animals. 9. Sia de Boo This dog, which has Mastiff ancestry, is also known as a bulldog because it was first employed as a bull-baiting dog. The Perro du Presser Malarkin is another name for the Sia de Boo. This puppy exhibits the characteristics of the majority of Mastiffs and Bulldogs. Due to their rarity, it is important to choose a dog from a reputable breeder. Aggression and other undesirable traits may result from inbreeding. 10. Ben Dog This breed, which is uncommon and one of the most frequently prohibited canines, has a mixed history. They were initially developed through the mating of Mastiff and Bulldog breeds. They can also vary in terms of appearance. Some appeared more like Mastiffs, while others appeared more like Bulldogs. The band dog was used to fight bulls, bears, and other dogs, just like many other dogs on this list. They are regarded as courageous and fearless. 11. Cuvas This breed is capable of both fear and aggression. They are still affectionate with their owners, but they are not advised for households with children or other pets. Cuvas are not known for being vivacious and playful. They favor a calm, relaxed household. These obstinate, independent dogs require a strong, assertive owner. These dogs make excellent guard dogs for livestock because they are territorial and protective. 12. Rottweiler These canines are brave and relaxed. They may weigh more than 130 pounds when fully grown. This breed of dog is not a hyper or needy one. Due to their size, Rottweilers are suggested for experienced owners. As soon as possible, while they are still young enough to be handled easily, training needs to begin. Although they are known to get along well with children in the house, they must be the only canine child there. 13. Akita Inu These dogs favor being the alpha dog. If you own one of these dogs, you will need to practice pack leader training. These dogs won't be visiting the dog park because they don't get along with other animals. It is best to have a bigger yard with a higher fence because Akita breed dogs are active and need exercise. One of the many reasons this breed is among the most frequently prohibited dog breeds is because it is reputed to be aggressive around the food bowl. Training and taking care of dogs of banned breeds. Let's discuss how to stop dog aggression. As I previously stated, it's crucial that you work with a skilled professional. It's generally unsafe for you to do this yourself if your dog exhibits any signs of aggression or is a breed that is known to be aggressive. Even though you may have previous dog handling experience, you shouldn't take any chances when dealing with an aggressive dog. Working with a dog like this alone could cause serious issues. Hire a qualified dog trainer who has experience dealing with aggressive breeds in general or your specific breed in particular. What is typically used for such dogs to correct their behavior is listed below. Education in Socialization Considering that this training begins at birth, be sure to purchase your puppy from a reputable breeder. The most crucial thing to keep in mind is to move slowly and be optimistic. When your pet does well on the lower rungs of the ladder, only move up in difficulty. Keep a positive attitude while performing these exercises and bring plenty of treats for your furry friend. Be ready to shower someone with lots of love and praise. Remember that this will take at least a year to complete so your dog won't regress. These steps will still be necessary even if you adopt your dog later in life. Introduce new people to your dog. Introduce other animals to your dog. Take a walk around the neighborhood with your dog. Make sure to take your dog to various parts of the city so they can encounter new sights, people, and animals. Obedience Instruction The training for this breed also begins the moment your new dog is brought home. Being consistent is important. You must never allow your pet to jump on you if you don't want it to. Instead of fussing when it jumps on you tomorrow and petting it today when it jumps, send consistent signals. More importantly, if you don't want your dog to jump on your visitors and bystanders, don't let it jump on you. 
your dog will treat other people according to how it treats you. Here is a brief overview of the top three dog training methods. Giving your dog praise and treats for every good behavior while completely ignoring bad behavior is called reward-based training. A treat and praise are given to your pet when it calmly approaches the door to greet you and waits to be acknowledged. Your dog runs to greet you, jumps on you, and digs his feet into the ground. You ignore him, don't look at him, and continue walking straight past. When your dog misbehaves, you may yell at him or spank him as part of punishment-based training. Your dog had an accident in the house, so you yell, press their nose into it, and shoo them outside roughly. Many people train in this manner, but it is ineffective. In actuality, this training technique only makes an animal fearful, and fearful animals bite. The foundation of permission-based training is owner awareness. The dog will not exit or enter a room, advance while wearing a leash, exit a moving vehicle, go potty, or do any of the other things listed above without first asking the owner's permission. Keeping canine family members under control and at ease requires this kind of training. Pack Leader Education If you intend to own one of the most frequently prohibited dog breeds on this list, you should look into pack leader training, which is advised for all prohibited dog breeds. You take the lead in this kind of training. Because it is your territory, your food, your bowls, your pack, etc., your dog won't be territorial or aggressive. Only when they are relaxed and submissive can they use it. This kind of dog training would be combined with socialization and obedience training for dogs. There are seven steps you must follow to complete pack leader training. First, make your dog earn his food. Before you eat, take him for a stroll. Never feed your dog before he is serene and submissive. Make him wait while seated. Put the food down when it is time. Two, keep your dog from jumping on you. You are in charge. Make sure your dog respects you from a young age. They can't do it to you as a puppy if you don't want them to do it to you as an adult or to other people. Three, keep your dog's attention at all times. Canines naturally do it. Look them in the eye and make them look away first if you want to be in a position of authority. 4. The alpha space is your personal space. With pack leader training, the dog is not permitted on the furniture or in beds. That is your territory. 5. No roughhousing. You are the one in charge. Do not be played with. This does not preclude you from playing with your pet. It means to engage in disciplined, respectful play. 6. Show respect if you want it. You shouldn't treat your animal disrespectfully just because you are the alpha. Avoid beating it, sticking your nose in its waist, and shouting and hollering at it. Always act in the manner you would want your dog to act, calm, powerful, and level-headed. 7. Always maintain consistency. Your dog must wait patiently for food every day if they must lie down to do so today. You won't become an authority figure if you have inconsistent behavior and lax regulations. Behavioral modification of humans, you. This might sound absurd. Instead of the other way around, you want the dog to adjust his behavior to suit your needs. That isn't always how things go. Dogs have been bred to be a certain way for thousands of years. The dogs on this list of prohibited dog breeds have undergone countless generations of breeding to develop the characteristics of fighting dogs, including bravery, aggression, territoriality, aloofness, and tenacity. You can take a few steps to prevent inciting your dog's aggression. No one should approach or attempt to pet your dog while it is eating in order to prevent dog bites and attacks. It's important to teach children to avoid staring dogs in the eyes. This presents a challenge to dogs. A dog's tail does not necessarily indicate that it is happy. When a dog is excited, either positively or negatively, the tail will wag. Avoid approaching animals in chains. The dog might believe it is in danger and that it needs to defend itself. If dogs are sleeping, make sure they hear you coming. To avoid scaring them when you are close by, walk quickly or start speaking. Animals in fear can sometimes attack. As was already mentioned, some local governments may decide to outlaw particular dog breeds that they believe to be aggressive. 
Even if there are no breed-specific laws in your city or county, your apartment complex, homeowners association, or insurance provider may have a list of prohibited dog breeds that you should be aware of. Many of these banned dog breeds are simply stereotyped and labeled as dangerous without much to no evidence to support those dangers, even though some dog breeds may be statistically more dangerous due to the prevalence of bites from that breed.